Gather round, ye merry folk, for the hour of retribution is upon us. It is time to announce the winner of this year's, and unfortunately the very last, Crystal Mountain PonyCon promo code contest! It's gonna be silver again, isn't it? Oh, come on, Firebrand! You're ruining the suspense! Listen, Thespia, you might not have participated in this contest the last two times, but the rule of three exists for a reason, so let's just get this over with. So, did I win? Well, since Hothead over here wants to be a spoil sport, despite everything he says about no spoilers, <clears throat> the winner is... <laughs> See, I told you it was gonna- Dr. Wolf? Wait, what? <gasps> what a twist! <laughs> Woo! Way to go, Doc! In your Facebook beak! I... I won? Well then, uh, that was entirely unexpected. I honestly never thought that I'd win any of these contests. I guess it's quite humbling to have that victory on the last year of Crystal Mountain PonyCon. Congratulations, Doctor. Hail to the conquering puppy. So, any particular reason you're taking this so well, Silver? Oh, but I have several reasons to celebrate. First of all, remember what happened when I won the first contest? Tactical nuke incoming! Cut. And when I won last year... I wish you well, whatever punishment Lightning Bliss plans to visit upon you. If I'm gonna lose every time I win, then I might as well lose so I can turn this into a lose-win instead of a win-lose. You get me? I wouldn't hold my breath on that, Big Bird. Secondly, I may not have won, but more importantly, neither did Firebrand. Eh, I'm okay with it. I'm used to it by now, because my old fans keep voting against me to see me in pain! And last but certainly not least, Dr. Wolf gets to choose our fate. At long last, we can see what kind of sadistic, torturous thoughts are swirling behind those fluffy ears. So speak, oh puppy. What doom will you unleash upon us this video? Now, now, everyone. You should know me better than that. I'm not here to torture anyone. N not even Firebrand? No. Tease? In fact, I thought that since the past two years have been dedicated to shows aimed at little girls, I figured it'd be a nice change of pace to bring up a show aimed at little boys instead. Oh, come on, Doc! Where's your sense of evil torment and fun? <coughs> Besides, my last video didn't do nearly enough damage to you three. Now we have Uncle Songhorse here to boot too? How can I top last year if we're watching something that doesn't torment? Ugh. Patience, Lightning. This year's feature is actually a failed pilot which came out on VHS back in 1990. I must have watched it at least 20 times during that year, which has really made me genuinely curious about going back now and trying to figure out why something that even as a child I knew was so over-the-top manipulative and yet I still wanted to go back to over and over. Ponies and Hippogriff, for this year we shall be reviewing Computer Warriors. <laughs> Computer what now? 1990? Dude, I wasn't even a sperm back then. Bliss, that title sound familiar to you? Don't look at me. That was a boy show. I watched MLPG1 back then. Wait, you've seen this before, Silver? My good doctor, there's very little in 90s entertainment that escaped my notice. I've seen Computer Warriors several times. Heck, I own some of the toys, and I actually still have the VHS. But I don't have a VCR. What's up with that? Well then. I guess you're more well-versed in this than I am. And I suppose it'll be fun for the both of us to see just how these three react to it. Old! These guys are old! Wait, so even though Doc won fair and square, Silver still wins. What is my life?! Get it together, man! Come along, everyone. We get to go on a nostalgia trip. And you get to see some early 90s cheese. Wow, I'm digging this Diet NASA font. Tumblr, the documentary. Is this DC property? This looks like DC property. It's by Mattel. Someone gonna sue. Parallax, 
the effect whereby the position or direction of an object appears to differ when viewed from different positions, for example, through the viewfinder and lens of a camera. Yeah! Ooh, Death Star tech support. He looks like a traffic cone crossed with the Condiment King. Hey, look, Bliss. We finally know where all the Tetris pieces come from. I'm not triggered. You're triggered! If it was that easy to destroy a facility, how is it still here? How does he even have a job? Also, is this art style reminding anyone else of TMNT? I, I wish. I'm strangely okay with this. Oh, just you wait. Listen, Sarge, we just had an unauthorized core dump into the network. I tried to contain the power surge, but something's escaped. Translation? I done goofed. Believe it or not, some of the animators who worked on the original Tron also worked on this. No. These viruses have made an unauthorized entry into the bitstream. I'm like that when I have chili. The self-proclaimed leader of these viruses is Megahurt. Wait, Megahurt? We're ripping up Reboot now? Shut up! This is totally different! In selecting you four warriors... Huh, why do teams always come in fours? Because it's a foregone conclusion. Grid, Micron, and Scanner... Leonardo, Michelangelo, Donatello, Raphael. I guess that makes the disembodied voice thing need to save April? Gumby, what happened to your face? Did someone call my name? Not that, Gumby! Any virus that fires this blaster without my permission will be neutralized by me faster than a Wozniak! Was that even English? Wozniak. Wozniak. A U.S. computer engineer who, together with Steve Jobs, designed and built the first real personal computer and started the Apple Computer Company in 1977. He left the company in 1985 and sold all his stock, citing he preferred engineering to the management role. Do a barrel roll! Stay on target! They're too close! I'll take the low target, the rest of you go after the remaining... No, don't split the party! Wrong, Wrong game. game! You know, we keep making Star Fox references, but this show came out a few years before the first Star Fox game. Why, Star Fox, why? Oh, you dirty thief! You're a natural leader, Rom, and I just love playing for the leader. Oh, he's blue and a leader. Mm -hmm. I'm just waiting for someone to say, I have you now. Scanning their trail leads. This way. Edgelord voice. That guy is definitely Raphael. Dude has a chin that could rival Bruce Campbell. One last shot before I go. I've never heard blasters that did the pew pew for me. If we go through the portal, we'll be neutralized. But you forgot to reverse the polarity of the neutron flow. So, cross the streams? Hell yeah! They're gone! Huh, that was easy. Did you know that voice actors don't get paid for grunts and the like? Was a rough ride for the Dragon Ball Z crew. Oh my god! I'm three dimensional! Uh, Megahurt? Experiencing m m m minor disorientation! <laughs> <laughs> no threat? No threat? Opponent is an inanimate object? By the power of Grey Skull! I have the product placement! Help! We're in a bad ending commercial! Uh, what exactly was the purpose behind the Hug a Bunch movie again? Shutting up. Also, aren't we all here because of My Little Pony? I get it. And who here sold her soul to Rainbow Bright? <laughs> How am I gonna finish my homework? Oh look, check off thumbtack. Huh, that was a disappointing payoff. Talk about having buns of steel! Nothing in here about smoking disk drives. What a tragic case. This boy has been born without an internal monologue. It's a world populated by giant, hostile carbon units. I legit thought he was going to say a world of giant dirty apes. Parallax considers them neutralized, therefore they're neutralized. Never question authority. Skin. Tidal wave? I think I've got something. Dr. Claw? And in the meantime, we're marooned in a world populated by hostiles! You think nearly getting sat on is hostile? Just wait until 4chan is invented. You seem to have all the answers, Index. 
Where would you suggest we hide? I'm having a craving for coke right now. Am I the only one who remembers when RC or Shasta were still a thing? Where are we? The Gaian Dimension, also known as Earth. Did he just say the gay dimension? Hey, it's the current year. Gay is so in. We were still working on that in the 90s. I keep forgetting just how strange a decade this was. Keep searching. They must be here. So, this is a show about a virus search and destroy program, yet they're having trouble locating the viruses, thus not being able to get rid of them. Ladies and gentlemen, Young Norton Antivirus! Prepare to be neutralized! You took the words right out of my mouth! <laughs> Secret Raiders that will neutralize soon as they arrive at the site! Does this show have no original ideas? At all! Computer warriors, less than meets the eye. Our neutralizers have no effect on matter originated in this dimension. In that case, I suggest a tactical retreat. Yes, because aiming at the viruses themselves wasn't an option. Reformat to circuit speeders and pursue the computer warriors! Oi! Don't shoot the camera! Uh... uh. Ah, uh, should not all time display units maintain synchronous? Leave no time for your feeble-minded speculations! Stay in formation! You think that's bad? Try setting up a VCR. What is this VCR you speak of, oh ancient one? Says every millennial ever. Meh, you darn kids with your Blu-rays and your Ubers and your iPhones. Aren't you one of those holdouts that still doesn't have his own cell phone yet, Doc? Wait, what? You'll never take me alive. Think we can flesh him out? That was very drier humor. Would you put a sock in it? Uh, oh, dang it, you got me doing that too. I am so proud of you, my children. Your approval fills me with shame. So, would it be a bad time to mention that maybe Minty's sock obsession did have actual merit? Yes. Not exactly what I had in mind. But so much for the foolhardy computer warriors! That voice crack, though. <laughs> Megahertz deliveries are making my sides mega hurt! <laughs> They're headed for the portal! You've gotta keep them from entering the portal! 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 Did we mention portal enough times yet? Nothing can stop us! Are you guys ready for the moment which, even as a kid, always made me roll my eyes? Not in the least, but sure, why not? What? That's right, boys. And so once again, the day is saved thanks to Pepsi? Wow, now I feel bad for the flock of gay man of steel. Shouldn't it be aluminum? I guess those carbon life forms soda helped? Eh? Eh? I hate you! Can you handle it? You're not helping! Where did these come from? This is too much. I'm better off at Leon's. At least he's got a laser. What a twist. And so, a teenager ruins everything. You sure his name wasn't Adam? A happy goodbye wave at the audience and camera totally not breaking the fourth wall. <laughs> A soccer trophy changes into an evil techno tank, forcing the computer warrior The toys are real. Oh, sweet Celestia. They are real! Computer warriors. That is the most boring logo ever of all time. Hey, Blissey, you want to know the best part? That pencil sharpener that turned into a jet? It really did sharpen pencils. And that clock really couldn't maintain consistent time. And that Pepsi can? It really wasn't worth trying to drink! Oh crap. Bliss down! Bliss down! Is there a doctor in the house? Um, Not you, Doc. I'm a doctor. Where's the patient? Not you, Dr. Pepper! Fine, I don't need you, Dad. I'm studying to become a doctor. Well, thank you so much for contributing to society, random cameo! Finn, quick! Bliss is down! I'm on it, Doc. Blissy, bliss, 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 bliss! Oh, sure. I can die 50 ways from Sunday, but when Blissy Bliss has a boo boo, suddenly it's Defcon 5! Jealous? Eh, what can I say? Cuteness wins every time. Oh, come on! I already packed the defib!
So, what did everybody think? I honestly see the makings of a good show here. I think the problem is that it tried to be both Tron and Transformers at the same time. If it was just a Tron-esque TV show, I think they would have had something there. They had a cool interpretation of cyberspace and, hey, four protagonists with distinct personalities. If they kept the show primarily in cyberspace and made the characters more visually distinct, this could have easily been an enduring classic. Computers are always evolving, and it would be cool to see these characters and these worlds change over the years to reflect that. You have an infinite fountain of ideas and can easily remain relevant. I would have adored a show like that as a kid, but the obvious executive meddlers were too greedy and tried to appeal to too many markets. Something, something, butter over too much bread, please everyone, please no one, yada yada. It's a shame, really. This may just be because this came out before I was even born, but this surprisingly didn't grab me that much. I mean, yeah, it's typical 90s animated sci-fi cheese, and it can be enjoyable to watch at points, but I feel the story is too standard to really get me interested in these characters. From a voice acting standpoint, the delivery from the heroes was surprisingly bland, yet the deliveries from the viruses were beyond hilarious to listen to. In fact, what surprises me the most is that none of the voice actors are shown in the credits, yet we see a long list of animators who worked on it. Now don't get me wrong, animation is a tough job, and it can take a very long time to make. But without crediting the voice actors who give you the fuel to animate around their performances, I can't help but feel they got kind of gypped. Aside from that, I can tell Computer Warriors was trying to be something, but at the same time, it's understandable why this pilot failed as hard as it did. My inner 90s childhood screams, ew, boy cartoon, and yet I can't help but feel like I had a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle vibe. And the more I hoped it would, the more disappointed I became. Not to say it didn't have some nostalgic vibes for me. I love animation styles like this, and the over-the-top voice acting was hilarious to listen to, and the animation was pretty amazing for its time. I may not have grown up with this little diamond in the rough, but I can't conclude it was fun watching this with my friends. I remember watching this at least a couple dozen times as a kid, and going back as an adult, I can see a few really intriguing elements here. The animation is fantastic, in places. The interactions are over the top hilarious, some of them, and it even has an aura of excitement in the battles. But even as a nine-year-old, I was always turned off by the blatant advertising. I never got any of the toys, and I didn't drink any Pepsi. Yet, I still would put that VHS tape back in over and over during that year. You can tell there were some people working on this who had some real passion to try for something daring and new. It's unfortunate that a lot of it is drowned out by some obvious corporate meddling. I guess I'm coming at this from a very different perspective. We all watched this and saw a lot of similarities to recent media, but I saw this when it first came out and none of those other sources were a dot on the horizon. This show is trying to cash in on the idea of modern day objects transforming. Diaclone and Transformers, Mask, Computer Warriors. Heck, we had something called Rock Lords. They were toys that transformed into rocks. Seriously? Yeah, it's easy to take for granted. This is why you're the group's pain magnet. And when this first came out, computers were just starting to move into the role they now occupy in our everyday lives. So a concept like this was inevitable. All of this was under the theme of finding the extraordinary within the mundane. Contrast that against much of modern day entertainment, which tries to supplant reality. It is silly and the computer warriors suffer from far less personality than the viruses. I shouldn't feel so endeared to the villains while alienated from the heroes. But this couldn't work as a series for one reason. They introduced all the products in one episode and then abandoned them for a new location. That'll kill your sales pitch right there. But watching it again, I can't help but feel a little nostalgic. I watched a lot of silly stuff as a kid, and that's an influence when I watch a modern day show. To date, I don't think I've seen a show in the last 18 years that has surpassed 80s and 90s cartoons for all-out absurdity. And I can safely say that seeing this again, even though I lost the competition, I feel I've won a moment of pleasantness. Also. Come along, you belong, feel the fizz of Pepsi Cola. Permission to maim. I think we need to... We'll take that as a yes. Weapons at the ready! Kill him! Slaughter him with rainbows!